One of the common workflow in creating 3D objects is starting out with sketches and then turning those sketches into 3D. And before we dive in to sketching, let's first discover how to navigate our way into 3D. Let me quickly create a 3D object, selecting the paper, sketching out a geometry, turning the closed loop profile into 3D, this time utilizing extrude. The navigation commands in Autodesk Inventor is the same with AutoCAD. To rotate this cube, it's simply holding shift and our mouse wheel. So notice the change of our cursor. And now I am moving my mouse once more, holding shift and pressing our mouse wheel. I am now able to rotate this cube. Release. Next, to zoom in and zoom out, it's simply rolling our scroll wheel. So I'm rolling my scroll wheel. It's now very far away. Okay, moving or turning the scroll wheel towards me. Okay, I am now zooming. So rolling away from us, zooming out, rolling towards us, is zooming in. In addition to do a fine-tuned zoom in or out, it's pressing F3, once more F3, so notice the change in my cursor. With that, I can hold our left mouse button, so simultaneously F3 and left mouse button. I am zooming if I move my mouse towards me and if I move my mouse away from us, I'm zooming out. So this is a fine-tuned zooming in and out by holding F3 together with your left mouse button. Next, also same with AutoCAD. To pan our way into Inventor, it's simply holding our scroll wheel. So notice once more the change of our icon. It turns into a hand. From here, I am now panning my way into this 3D object. Moving forward, let's discover zoom extents. So I'm going to roll our scroll wheel moving this too far so now it's not visible okay so if we want to have a zoom extents or appear this on the entirety of our graphics window it's simply double clicking our scroll wheel so once more double left click our scroll wheel Okay, it comes back, occupying the extents of our graphics window. Next, I want this cube to be in its home isometric position. It's simply hitting home on our keyboard or heading over to our view cube, selecting this tiny house. Moving forward, we can click on the faces of this view cube to head over to top view. So notice it's highlighted in blue. Left click, we're now into top view. Notice as I hover over the sides of this view cube, it highlights in blue. So let's say I want to be at this view I'm going to select this bottom edge of top view. Okay, heading over to this corner of the view cube. We now have another isometric view. Let's head over to front view. And of course, if you want to rotate incrementally, it's simply selecting this curved arrow. So rotating counterclockwise 
or clockwise. So addition, there's this triangle where we can also left click on to have a different view of our 3D model. Let's now hit F6 on our keyboard to revert back to home view. And lastly, sharing to you the last option to rotate our 3D model is simply hitting F4. Notice as I hit F4, we have this circle and this lines. Notice as I hover over to this line. Notice the change of my cursor and as I left click and move my mouse. Okay, I am rotating this object with respect to a vertical axis. Once more hitting F4, how about this vertical line? So notice once more the change of my cursor. Left click and hold. Okay, I am now rotating this object with respect to its horizontal axis. Okay, heading back to home view once more, hitting F6.